of fat asses that likes Mopar, so we need to lose some weight. section. Uh, we're going to look for some neutral or white C3 ECM connectors. Those are a hot commodity. It's hard to get a hold of those, even new. So we're going to look for some of those. We're going to go look for star connectors, which is very popular for hemi swaps, and any other goodies we could find in the Chrysler section. Yep. It's your uh, local pull apart. We're here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yep, off of Greenwell Springs. Pretty good day. Pretty good day. Not too hot anymore. It was earlier. Stay tuned. Uh, all right, so we're getting there. For some reason, they put pricers all the way in the back. We get our exercise in. Yeah, I guess they figure we're all fat asses that likes Mopar, so we need to lose some weight. Now nah, we'll just beat them enough. Drag strip. I'd rather drink beer and enjoy life. Yeah, they should sell beer here. Honestly. I think they sell a lot. Great idea. Some nice caravans. Hey, I think three kids, man. They just in the front, party in the back. I do like the Avengers, though. That's why the dude. I think we got her. That's far off. Alright, looks like they are shuffling up some prices as we speak, which is pretty cool. I get to see some, uh, some new blood. about the NGC ECMs is they came on practically everything from the 2000s uh, Chrysler. So you could find them in neons, minivans, all those good things. This is what we have here. Is it an Aspen or? Uh, it looks like a Renegade. Is that right? The, the, the Jeep. Uh... Nitro. Oh, Nitro, yeah. Didn't okay. recognize it as a front clip. So it's a Dodge Nitro. Over here in the corner, you'll see it also has the NGC ECM connectors. Uh, here's a nice one. The, this is the one that we commonly use in the swap is the white, or as Chrysler calls it, neutral. And uh, if you have a car engine harness that doesn't have the black, you'll need the black as well. So we're going to go ahead and snip these. Every time we come to the yard, we pull as many of these as possible because the, uh, the last I heard, the machine that made these connectors has been discontinued. So getting them from the OEM is near impossible unless someone has some leftover stock. Let's get you some snippers. Yeah. And Could do with better wire snips, but it's okay. Always try to get as much space as you possibly can. On some of these smaller cars, uh, you really don't have a lot of lead way. You need at least, you know, five inches or so. I recommend getting up to 16 if you can, which you'll find on a lot of the trucks. So like the Ram 1500s, they have a lot more leeway. You can actually go back about 16 inches. It's just gonna help you out better with wiring later. So which colors are, are the good ones to get again, Blake? The white, the neutral, as it's called by Chrysler, and the black. The only real difference is the TPA, the cover plate right here. Uh, they're interchangeable, so if you happen to come across some uh, black ones that are really long or a different color that's really long, what you could do is go ahead and snip the white one next to it and change out the TPA lock covers, and you'll be able to use it as a white one. Somebody 
left the watch out here. That's interesting. Okay, so we stumbled across this Avenger. I'm not sure what year of it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to guess for you guys today. So what we've noticed is it's not a Hemi, but it does have a GPEG 2 ECM. So we're going to take a look at the ECM right here. And immediately we notice it has a gray and a brown connector. So for me, gray and brown connectors should be pre the, the dates of when they were locked. So I'm going to look at this and say this year of this vehicle is probably somewhere between 2011 and 2014. So let's take a look and see if I'm right. I think he's full of shit. Check it out, Mike. Oh, boy. The master. Again. Hey, you didn't you didn't look before you actually. Nope. Yes, right. No, I don't think. <laughs> don't uh, he did. This what? guy can't lie to anybody. I said, let's just say his wife gets mad at him a lot. <laughs> Wait, do we want that ECM Blake? Or is no good? No, um, real interesting G, uh, GM, you can do segment swap, so you can turn a V6 ECM, even a four cylinder ECM, into an eight cylinder ECM just by reflashing, swapping out the engine and transmission tuning segments. Uh, that really has not been mastered for Chrysler yet, so not really of any use to us. Should uh, some of the good companies like HB Tuners, Diablo Sport, those guys come out with segment swap ability? We'll be snatching up these guys left and right because we can make it into anything we want. All right. See ya. I think it's a Stratus. Something. Search continues. This thing has a, a, this has a Skyjacker lift on it. Look at Dang. that. It's got a lift kit on it. Yeah. Somebody's got to spend time to get it on. Take a picture of it. We'll post it up. Hey guys, anybody looking for a lift kit? Hi guys, we stumbled across this gym. It looks like a 2004 Chrysler Crossfire. Um, you can see these things were heavily influenced by Mercedes-Benz during its production, just like the early Chargers and Challengers. Um, a lot of parts from here are interchangeable because it is Mercedes-based. So the electronic gas pedal, as well as some other little doodads. What's pretty cool is these things came with some billet trim pedals. I see the accelerator pedal, gas pedal is already gone, but the brake pedal's there. You can imagine what the gas pedal would look like. So if you want a trick looking fuel pedal, that'd probably be the one to get. Yeah, they tell this thing up. Yes. It's got that retractable wing. Look good. Look I was going to say that, yeah, those seats are pretty cool. Oh, that one's kind of busted. Yeah. This one looks decent. Nice little racing seats, huh? Nice side bolsters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was a good car. <laughs>